just to make sure that we're clear on what we're doing. So we want inspirational messages, anything that you think this last 11 days of school would help uh, someone that maybe has test anxiety, maybe they're stressed out about school being out. It's exam time at Butler High School in Louisville, and a group of students is writing notes of encouragement to their fellow classmates who may be under stress. You know, words are powerful, so put those words down and then we're going to get these in the lockers. Or we're going to get these these students are part of an evidence-based suicide prevention program called Sources of Strength, which highlights eight different protective factors. Sources of Strength is a totally amazing program. Basically, it's a resiliency program. It helps students look at all the different resiliency skills that they can develop, the coping skills that they can develop that are positive versus when things are going difficult, turning to drugs, versus when things are difficult, turning to violence. The mental health of our students is a, is a major concern. A lot of times the focus seems to be everything on academics, reading and writing, which is important. Um, but we all know that the uh, mental health and well-being, uh, talking about whole child, um, building those type of resiliency skills um, are, are, are key. Because we're in a generation of social media where we're always comparing ourselves to somebody else. I like to call it, I'm comparing my life to somebody's highlight reel. I think that's the biggest problem I see, is a lot of kids, they don't know who they are. Um, by seeing the signs, the will, uh, it makes people think, and it gets their attention. Like, wow, I never thought about mental health, or wow, I never thought about my mentors. I never thought about a person I could go to to talk. The program helps develop peer leaders who first learn to tap into their own sources of strength, and then act as agents of change within their peer groups. You purposely try to go pick students in as many peer groups as possible because a lot of times our best peers are not who you would think they would be. They are the kids that have experienced tragedy and because of that they can, they can have empathy for other students and the courage to help them. Uh, after my mother had like committed suicide, my grandpa had died of a heart attack. It pushed me to be a better person and not like just drag myself down and I had to be there for my three little sisters. So it's like, why not go ahead and just join Sources of Strength to make a better impact on people and to make a better impact on me. My family has like a lot of mental health issues, so therefore once I came to this program and I was like, okay, I can get help for this or I can understand how to deal and cope with it, you know, it just gave me a more secure feeling about myself. After the initial training, peer leaders do regular projects throughout the year related to the Wheel of Strengths. And we basically work our way around the wheel. We do the thankfulness challenge around Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? The thankfulness journals. We uh, create bulletin boards throughout the building. We do a who's your mentor program, who's your positive mentor. We put those up throughout the building. We try to do something every single month. At Butler, Sources of Strength has contributed to a school-wide culture of caring where students look out for one another and adults are seen as trusted advisors. Everybody is for everybody and everybody helps everybody. If you walk down the hallway crying and something's wrong, you can you can bell guarantee that somebody's gonna stop you, whether it's a student, a consultant, a staff, somebody's gonna stop you and ask you, are you okay? And because we all care about one another, even if we don't know you complete stranger, I've never seen you a day in my life. But we're gonna make sure that you're okay. Positivity spreads, so like since people, my friends notice that I'm in sources of strength, they will come to me for advice or just to ask me about the program in general. So me showing them that I care about them helps them care about others, if that makes any sense. So like, good things is getting passed, up, uh, passed around. Sources of Strength has already broken down traditional codes of silence among students at the school. Peer leaders at Butler are certain they've saved lives because of this. My door opens and closes all day long and they, they know when they can help and when it maybe it goes above a level that they can help if someone's in danger, and they'll bring them to us. We can talk about anything in this world, but if you ever say that um, I want to hurt myself or I want to hurt somebody else or I know of someone wanting to hurt themselves, then that's when I have to tell. And I will tell them, I don't care if it's 1 o'clock on a Sunday morning, if you know that, that somebody you care about is in danger, a student, whether it's a Butler student or somewhere else, you let me know. Research into sources of strength program outcomes nationally have shown increases in connectedness to adults, school engagement, the likelihood to refer a suicidal friend to an adult, positive perceptions of adult support, 
and acceptability of seeking help. The largest increases have been amongst students with a history of suicidal ideation. These kids that go through this program, they know a lot more than the majority of our adults. Not in the building, just period. Uh, and I'm inspired by them because when you teach them how powerful they are, they'll run with it. As long as we're helping people, making people smile, making people feel better, that's what makes me happy at the end of the day. As long as we're helping somebody make it another day, that's what's important.